wait, 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 wait. Right, before, uh, oh, hello everyone. It's Adam here, welcome to another gameplay review video. Um, I thought before we carry on with this video, I'd, uh, I'd take the chance to say hello. Hi everyone, and also, I thought I'd give the craft a breakdown. I've, I've got a few minutes uh, where I can I can record and this record me talking and there not being any background noise and things. I thought I'd take a moment to try this quickly, and also just show people a few of the uh, the details of this craft. So uh, if they ever go to use it themselves, they can uh, they can understand it a bit better. The first thing I'll go into, I guess, is this, there's a secret sneaky part in this craft. I've basically I've added. I've added a reaction rail wheel inside the inside the rover. It starts off default on, uh, even though it's not needed at all. Um, what happens is when you press the action key one, uh, it will deploy these antennas, and it will also turn it off. Okay, so it would be like it's not there. But the reason why I've done it, okay, is if someone's a beginner, or if someone has forgot to save it or something, if for some reason this topples over on the moon, you can or wherever you're going you can reactivate it and you can flip you can self write yourself right how, how cheeky is that and you wouldn't even know it's there by default it's off so it's not cheating but if you're a beginner etc you know you've got that to fall back on uh this oh yeah this is a good bit yeah look at this right got a hinge this time so the nose cone is nice and compact uh and basically when you let when you release this it's clamped down there when you release this yeah it's, it falls down so the rover can then, then depart. Uh, it's got these. It's got these little sight. It's not needed. I mean, you can just you can just wheel straight off, like fly off as fast as you want, and you can make it so you land straight. If you, you know, if you're cool enough. But if you're gonna try and make it look nice and realistic, and uh, you know, take it, and you wanna take it nice and slow, it's got this little guide bar. So as you come down, your wheels just sink there, and it just should just, like roll off nice and smooth. Uh, the main part of it is, is where it's hinged, the centre of mass is just on the outside. So if you're in a, in a perfect situation, it's dead flat. If you let it go, it will just, it will just drop down on its own. Um, but normally you're landing on a slight slope and you naturally, you're going to want the slope, do you want to be looking uphill? So when this goes down, it's got, hasn't got, remember if, you, if you're downhill, it's going to be dropping down further before it stops. They give you a steeper ramp and you want it to be as nice and, nice and gradual and smooth as possible. Um, you know, so there's a payoff between. You kind of want to be, you want to be looking forwards, but then if you do that, the centre of mass is going to be off, so this is going to want to tip backwards. But I haven't, I'm not, I don't, it's not something I like to do, but I'm pretty sure it's possible that you can just ram it. You can ram it open with the rover, but again, it's a bit dodgy. You know, you generally you need to take it as slow as possible, and pretty much you have to have your finger held on the brake the whole time, otherwise um, it, it does just go a bit out of control. Um, what else have we got? Uh, keep in mind, uh, if you're the sort of person that likes to leave things in orbit for a long time, uh, the solar panels on this uh, thing are all pointing kind of the same way. So if you start pointing to the sun and you leave it the equivalent of like a quarter of a year or half a year in the curving time, then uh, it's, the sun's going to be pointing from the other direction, so you run out of power. I have I've tried to put as little extra batteries on as possible because this craft is, it basically it will it would generate enough power to power itself as long as uh, as long as there's the sun on it. But there is a there's a few little bits packed in, and these uh, these parts I've used uh, just to make the shape correct. Um, they've also got a tiny little bit of battery in there for themselves, so that all that all kind of pans out. Also, um, I don't really like to toot my own horn, but uh, this uh, this craft is something special. I don't know what it is about this craft, but I tell you, it's just I've. I thought it was going to be rubbish, and it's turned out almost looking perfect. I've even got the, got the struts in there, the, the right shape for uh, you know for the suspension system they've got. I mean, to give you know, give, it's not perfect, but it gives you the, the best you can do with this. It was a nightmare, I tell you, to use that as uh, you know, there's little, there's little bits, little bits everywhere. Oh, but it's just uh, I'm really excited about this craft, and it's, I know it's going to be really fun to use. So. Uh, you can rest assured the next video will be coming out in like a few hours of this, so you know, I'm gonna get on with it, alright? Don't you worry. There is only one thing of the craft really to, uh, to take note of, and that is once once uh, this has been deployed, it becomes a second craft, and quite often I find when I've loaded it back, um, it will it will have shifted out of place, and it will just cause a few little 
glitchy movements and stuff here and there. Um, what, you, what you really do is just go into the traveling station or uh, select it, um, select it because it becomes a separate craft. And then if you just if you just delete it, um, it will no longer be a problem. I don't, it doesn't really I don't really it doesn't affect me much, so I'd normally just leave it. Um, I say normally, I only made this craft a few hours ago. So. And uh, so yeah. Uh, you can also see I've upscaled the long march, which I don't just create a long march rocket of this uh, this type, but uh, I've upscaled it because usually um, my crafts are quite a little bit smaller than uh, well, I make them as small as possible basically. And um, since the rover, the smallest parts are kind of these wheels, they're, kind of, they're naturally dependent on those parts and scaling to the size of those parts. It has to upscale basically everything else just to uh, accommodate for that. Oh, there's lights at the bottom, there's no reason at all. And um, also there's, there's an even, there's an even nicer light. Yeah, you can have this light on too. Why did I put the lights on? I don't know, man. I think, I think it just makes it look nice. Oh right, so right, we're, we're doing a proper video, won't we? Right. Oh, it'd be nice as well to get uh, the comments and the feedback for this style of video. It's not the style of video I ever intended to do because I like I like videos without any commentary because it doesn't matter what country you're from or what language you speak. If it's all just a visual thing, everyone's everyone can get the same kind of information. But also, the reason why I'm kind of doing this is so people have an anticipation uh, for what uh, for my videos. And I'm not talking about that they get excited. So there's an anticipation. I mean, you can anticipate what it is I'm going to do, uh, and so you, you can understand it better. Like for example. Um, I plan to make it look because people keep saying oh, I make it look really easy, but the truth is, is, if you make it so it is easy, you know it is it is going to look easy because you've made it so it's going to look easy, right? So uh, with this, um, it would look really quick and really like snappy in the video. But if you if you do watch, okay, it's all a visual thing. Like I said, I love to show people visually. When I hit B in the top of the screen, the orange icon for brakes will flash, so you'll be able to see when it is I am braking. And you'll be able to see in the bottom left when it is I'm moving, uh, you know, if I'm pitching forward or left or right or doing the gears. And if the SAS, on or, if the SAS is on or off, right? And also reaction wheels and all those sort of things. If you get, take that into account, what it is, and you copy that, you'll find that it is easy because it, it does naturally, you know, things sort themselves out. Um, so yeah, so you get the idea. If you've already got that anticipation, when I come to it in the video, you won't go, wait, wait, what was that? What, what does that happen? Oh my god, that looked amazing. They look, made it look easy. They'll just be like, oh right, I saw, right, it's just, it's just cut it down into a few simple steps. And then if you can uh, you just repeat the process more than, I'd just say, if you do it twice in a row, you know, it's, you know, it can work forever potentially. So, you know, I'm sure you guys understand what I'm, what I'm dribbling on about. Well, thanks very much for watching, and I'll, uh, I'll see you again very soon, hopefully.